Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy D and this is a a little um tutorial on the glitch too. Um some people are having trouble with how to make it, you know, be on one sequence but not the next sequence. Um and so I'm gonna show you basically how to do that. Uh it's really simple. Um Alright, so this is an eight bar beat that I got. And I want to be able to put that on, I want it on the first sequence. I want the glitch on the first sequence, but not the second sequence. All right, so this is how you do that. Um, I'm, and I'm going to put it on, I'm going to put the glitch on the violin part. And that, and I, the violin part I have on track one. So if you have a sample, wherever your sample is at, and you want to put the glitch on that sample, you, you, you know, you go to the track where that sample is at. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of the sequence. And um, to do that, go to the sequence, hit window, hit copy, so and then hit do it. So now I have a copy of that sequence. Same exact, you know, just the same identical sequence. Now this is where it gets different at. Um, say on sequence two, I'm going to go down to, I'm going to go down to where it says program. Um, I'm using my NPC studio. I, I scroll down to where it says program. And... What I want to do is that I want to cop. I, I want to make a copy of that program. So I highlight it and I hit Window and then I hit Copy, and it's going to make it. It's basically just making a copy of that that violin uh, of that violin part. So now, um, on sequence on sequence one and sequence two. Right now I have the same thing, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to sequence two. I'm going to go to program and I'm going to put it to the other program that I made a copy of. So as you can see right here, it switched to um, the bank 001-1. The first one is the bank 001, but the new copy has, you know, it added the one to it. So it's the same sound, it's the same sound, but it's a different, whole totally different program. Now, this is the one... Um, the sequence two is the one I'm going I'm going to put the um, the glitch on, and so say I'm gonna put the so I'm gonna add the glitch in here. Glitch two, and what I do is um, let me bring it up. Now I'm gonna take these out. I'm supposed to take these out because that's just like a random 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 instruments and I'm going to bring this this beats right here I'm going to bring that to to eight and then I'm going to take um I'm going to go to tape stop so I'm going to put the tape stop I, I, I usually put the tape stop at the end so I'm going to put the tape stop right here so say I put the tape stop right there and then I'm going to put the um this um this gator I you know, I put it right there. Just hold and drag, just like a mouse. Like just drag it. If, if you if you click it once and then click it like that, it, it, it doesn't really sound right. So it's, it's better just to click, hold it down, then drag it right across. All right, for for the glit for the um tape stop and the the um gator, I guess it's called. All right, so now I'm gonna go to tape stop right here, and I'm gonna bring this down to one fourth. I usually bring it right there. All right, so let's clear that. So now, now we're gonna listen to it. First, we're gonna go to sequence one. Sequence one is not gonna have the glitch. Sequence two is gonna have the glitch. And as you can see, me switching from sequence to sequence, you see the glitch. You see the um, you see the glitch right here disappear. Cause sequence one, I didn't put the glitch. Sequence two, I did put the glitch. So. This is how it works. So,
and that's you know that's basically how they do the glitch um and i could take i could shorten it like i can go to the since this is an eight bar loop and it's the same i could bring it down to four bars and i could take um sequence two and bring that to four bars you know bring that down to four bars as well so it doesn't take that long and you know and you know i'll play it from sequence two this is with the glitch And that's how you do the glitch. Now say, say if I say, all right, I want the, I want to make, all right, say, say this is going to be your, 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 the hook, the hook of the beat, but you want, you want to make it so it switches like the first couple bars is without the glitch, the next couple bars. So then of course, like I said, you lower, you lower the bars. If I want it to be, if I want this to be an eight bar in the second, I mean, if I want it to be four bars only, this whole thing. If I want it to be four bars, what I do is I take the first sequence that, ha that doesn't have the glitch. I make it two bars. I go to the I go to the second sequence. Well, the first sequence and the second sequence, I make them both two bars. Now I add them together. So if I so if I go to song mode, and I say this is going to be a four bar hook. The first this is the first two bars without the glitch. This is the second two bars with with um with the glitch. So now, now we'll listen to it. And that's how you do it with the glitch for four bars. Any questions? Holla at your boy D. I hope this is really, I hope I, hope I made it simple for you guys, or, you know, at least more understandable. Um, if you follow those steps, you'll be good. All right, peace.